You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by RadioTravelGroup.com. Good day to you, Mr. Ferris. How are you? Yeah, well, we punched our way through another weekend, and I know, uh, John, you went out and stopped the... uh, uh, Again, I apologize, I'm not entirely clear on it the uh, convoy the truckers convoy oh yeah yeah thursday that, that was... night they rolled into town and then friday morning you're they out rolled there out. friday right right, yeah, right i went right. there thursday night and and played some music and and chatted with uh, local folks that were welcoming them. and then on friday morning um after we got done on the air i ran back out there a bit and uh, it was fun it was really some great people super nice people a lot of them i asked them I'm like so how are you connected to this convoy they're like i'm not i'm just uh i took a day off today to come out and support people as they're going through and I was like, really? And they're like, I took a day off. A lot of these guys are taking like that's a month awesome. off. Yeah, so that's I fantastic. Like, oh, that I is. love that. And many people showed up bearing gifts for the truckers. Oh, I nice. Tried, I tried getting the gifts for me, but they're like, no, these are for the truckers. So. Nice. Well, well, again. It was really neat. Awesome to all of the patriots that were there. It was really, really cool. All right. A little, little update there. Yeah, Thanks that for, was Friday. Uh, all right. Well, hey, thanks for representing there, Big I John. I do what I can. <laughs> Celebrity birthdays today, Brian Cranston. Oh, yeah. Okay. Malcolm in the Middle. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was kind of a big deal. I've never seen an episode, but I've got Same. two friends who were oh, just our son. hooked on that oh, thing. Yeah, our son. And then too. he ended up, because of, he says it has nothing to do with that, but he wanted a Pontiac Aztec, Aztec which was made famous by that, that his vehicle. show. The vehicle that put Pontiac out of business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it kind of is. Troy, that was Troy's dream car. I know, and he has one now. And how's that thing running? <laughs> it, it is not. Oh, yeah. It's in a, it just kind of sits there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's in the garage again. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Great thinking, GM. <laughs> and I'm sorry for buying it for him. <laughs> Mr. Cranston is 66 today. Nice. Former PTL Club co-founder, wife of Jim Baker, Tammy Faye Baker, born oh, yeah. this day. Ms. Mascara. Bet you didn't know this. What's that? She's from International Falls, Minnesota. Really? Yes. I did not know that. Up in the far north huh. up in Minnesota, and yet there's not a single museum or anything <laughs> devoted to her. Nothing. You'd think there'd be something. Nothing. But there is a Mascara Museum. There's a Bronco Nagurski Museum in International Falls. So <laughs> not a Tammy Faye. Is. <laughs> it was a football legend, John. Oh yeah. Ah. Okay. I'll talk about it on my sports podcast. That would be awesome. Uh but up 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 uh, Daniel David Palmer, born this day. Palmer Candies? Nope. Why is he a big deal? Hmm. Basically invented chiropractic care. Oh, yeah. Palmer Chiropractic. Yeah, from pyro- yeah. yeah, yeah. You've got a chiropractor. The odds are pretty good. They Some of the licensing Palmer. on the wall is out of Palmer, and their big campus is Davenport, Iowa. Yeah, yep. yeah. to this day. And they've is... got a campus in Florida, too. But, yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Mm-hmm. I know several chiropractors who went to school there. Oh, absolutely. Very, very Great good school. ones. That's what it is. He's Canadian, you know. Oh, yeah. I did not know that. Yep, absolutely. And uh, so he passed away in 1913 from a herniated disc. Oh, I can't believe that <laughs> to be true. <laughs> I think that's wrong. It was 1530, John. Okay. English King Henry VIII's divorce request oh. is denied by the Pope. Oh, wow. Oh. I know. You know, Hank had six wives. Yeah. Lots of mistresses. Yeah. Two of those marriages were annulled. He beheaded two of them, including huh. Anne Boleyn, who looked really surprised. <laughs> I bet she was. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that was denied. And, and I'm kind of sitting there looking at it and going, well, the Pope says no. And Henry's got to be going, well, <laughs> got, I'll just cut her head off. Got other ways to do this. <laughs> Thanks for playing, Pope. It's time to sever ties either way. Love the hat. <laughs> and I love that tie, <clears throat> sadly. 1854, this was game changer. U.S. inventor Charles Miller, Chucky, patents the first sewing machine to stitch buttonholes. Oh, wow. Up oh. until then, garments, in fact, did have buttons, but they just had to hang open. They had no holes. <laughs> <laughs> and in 1927, out of the world of sports, so you can just go to sleep, John, 1927, <sighs> Babe Ruth becomes the highest paid player in Major League Baseball history. Oh. Yankees signed the Babe to a three-season contract worth $70,000. That was the highest paid at the time, 70000 That was 1927. Nowadays, like Wouldn't that be change, nice to go back to that? That so, would boil down to about $23,330 per season. But in today's dollars... 
That would have been 1.035 million yeah. or about 345,000 per season. Nice. Let's put that more into perspective. That was 1927. Yeah. Current highest paid Yankee, pitching ace Garrett Cole. Okay. Cole makes 36 million dollars a season. A oh, season. Wow. A season. And again, keep in mind he's a pitcher, which means tops he's going to pitch three dozen games. In other words, he's going to play maybe thirty to thirty-six games, maybe. Wow, he must be good. And he ain't wow. going. He ain't going all nine innings because pitchers just don't anymore. So say he's going five to seven innings per game. Every time he takes the mound, one million dollars. Whoa, no kidding. On average, wow. Here it goes. I, don't I would do that. like that. I'd pitch a couple of games for a million bucks a yeah, time. No, you couldn't. <laughs> I would. Oh, yeah. I'd do it. Well, Figure plus, this out. Plus, you can't hit. So. Huh. Wow. Yeah, well, what did they call Babe Ruth? They called him something. The Bambino. He had a, he had a lot of nicknames. Wasn't the Bambino? Wasn't that one of yeah, them? Yeah, Salt yeah. and Swat. So, yeah, well, I, I always thought he seemed cool. Watch, watch Sandlot. They'll, I, they'll I know, fill you in. I remember. <laughs> Kill me, Smalls. Smalls. Speaking of which, in, in Sandlot, you know, Benny, yeah, Benny, the, the Jet, who's like the really good ball player. Oh, yeah. Who takes Smalls under his wing. And, yeah. Yeah, helps him out. So, you know, the whole thing is they're kids, right? Yeah. But the yeah. end of the movie, I know, clip, well, here's Benny. He's up up up, up in the bigs playing yeah. ball, right? And yeah. the young Benny, and when they end with the older Benny, yeah. those two guys are actually brothers in real life. Oh, nice. Oh, really? Yep. I like that. I learned so much on this program today. I know. I am Thanks, just Dan. a font of worthless information, <laughs> and I couldn't be prouder. Yeah. So I know, you know, we all know, we just bounce ahead here. going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price, plus you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220, and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer, 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine and Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture, and we're going to brighten your day right now with some awesome news. I've got Tom Rooney joining me, and Tom is with Direct Line, a Christian prayer center. Mr. Rooney, how are you, sir? Very good. Thank you. Well, thank you for doing what you guys do. I think this is just a really neat thing. We've been uh, chatting a little bit ahead of time. You said you guys started in 2008, is that right? Correct, yes. Uh, it was really an idea where um, uh, the business right next door, uh, Shipley's Laundry, they were looking for some office space, and so they bought this building thinking that that's what it would become. And once they gained ownership of it, they felt like the Lord was directing them to start a prayer center instead. And uh, so it was very humble beginnings, but uh, here we are 12 years later, and we've got about 40 volunteers. Um, and we typically, oh, on, a, on an average day, we'll have you know about 20 to 30 different contacts from people via email or telephone or uh, sometimes people will actually come in off the streets uh, for prayer face to face. That's really cool. And now with with COVID, uh, this last year has been just a bizarre year for a lot of people. So I'm assuming you probably have more people uh, reaching out asking for prayers. But uh, has that also had an impact on getting volunteers to be able to help as well? The volunteer ranks, yes, it, it's had some impact there. Um, as you can imagine, a number of our volunteers are actually. A little bit older, and that's the high risk category uh, for people with COVID. And so, uh, we've uh, had a number of people uh, that have not been able to come in for their normal volunteer time periods. And uh, so, at times, it's been a little bit challenging to make sure that we have people here. But uh, we always we've we've had the door open uh, just like always. And so, we're here from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. And uh, like I say, a lot of people will email. Requests we get them from around the world, John. We've had requests this year from Norway, from Israel, um, all kinds of different places. And uh, some people will call in. Um, you know, we we pray with people over the phone that way too. And then uh, occasionally, like I say, we'll have somebody come in from the street. Uh, uh, sometimes by accident, they're walking by and they see prayer center on the window and they. Hmm, I'm going to go in and see what's happening there. Yeah. So it's really been interesting. 
And again, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. is the time that people can call, but the emails can kind of come anytime, right? Correct, yes, yes. And the phone number, is it 274-9274? Right. That's a Sioux Falls number. So. And if people would like to stop in and see you, you're right kind of across from City Hall downtown, right? Right. If they know where Shipley's Laundry is, we're just one door west of, of Shipley's Laundry, like you say, across 9th Street from City Hall. Very nice. Mr. Rooney, I appreciate you taking some time to chat with us here. And are there things that you guys need at the Direct Line Prayer Center? Are there things that you're saying, we could sure use more volunteers, or we need you know, a list of these kind of things? What kind of things do you need help with? Well, mainly the volunteer thing is, is um, you know, an area of need. And, you know, it, it is a, a nonprofit organization, and so we receive donations for support uh, if somebody feels so inclined. And uh, that's always greatly appreciated, but... Um, that's the main area, like I say, in terms of, of the physical operation, is to make sure that we have uh, volunteers. It's a Christian prayer center, and so uh, we've ministered to a lot of people. We do keep track online or on a computer program as to the requests that come in every day, and uh, we're at uh, 25,000 and counting, I think it is, something like that. So uh, a lot of traffic there. That is fantastic. And and I see the website, directlinesd.org, so if folks would like to go there and get some more information, is that also a place they could go if they say, hey, I want to volunteer or I would like to contribute? Can they do all of that right through that website? Absolutely. And, and for volunteers that are interested, there's a volunteer tab on that website uh, where you can actually fill an application out to do that online. And I see also a place where you can request a prayer right through the page. That's also very simple. Exactly. Again, directlinesd.org. Tom, thank you again for your time, and thanks for doing what you guys are doing. I think this is wonderful. Thank you so much, John. God bless you. Absolutely. Again, Tom Rooney, and he is with Direct Line Prayer Center. It's a Christian prayer center in downtown Sioux Falls, but they uh, take prayers from people all over the world, which is amazing. If you would like to reach out, you can do that. Either call 605 605- 274-9274 or go to the website directlinesd.org It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out StopBoxUSA.com the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. StopBox is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. You Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopBoxUSA.com. You need to check out StopBoxUSA.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Monday? Well, the name game. I've had the pleasure of naming a couple kids way back in the day. I've been very happy with those names. And it certainly certainly wasn't without... uh, without arguments and debate and focus groups and everything else, because it's important. It's like this human has to carry this thing around forever, like, pretty so much for life. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Names change through generations. For instance, I was surprised because I have two grandkids now, yeah. and it was kind of funny, and here's Sadie Hayes, my daughter, going, oh, we're picking out boys' names, and better than I mean, well, Dan, Dan, Dan's good. Dan, yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> Daniel. It's worked out okay. Go with the Dan thing. Wrote it all down, and it was like, Henry. Henry. I like Henry. Henry. Like, old-timey stuff. Is it yeah. Henry Daniel? Did they at least give you the middle? No. Whoa. His uh, middle name is Lee, and if you punch up Henry Lee, Henry Lee. Oh, yeah. one of the most uh, prolific serial killers in American history. Yeah. Oh, but there's also Henry Lee Summer. That's a, He's a singer from the... Yeah, I skipped that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was girl time. A yeah. girl, and I'm thinking... Danielle! Is a pretty good name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad, tonight. Eleanor. Eleanor. El- Isn't that Beautiful? crazy? Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, well, we're yeah. going back really a century old or so. Really sure. old Both of those, Henry and Eleanor. Then I stumbled across this little article. Are there names in South Dakota that you are absolutely by law not allowed to use? And really? And the answer is yes, there are. Are there really? really? Yep. What and, names can't I? Because I'm going to rename my dog. <laughs> well, they make sense when oh. you hear about them. You oh, cannot okay. name a child in the state of South Dakota, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I could see that. You can't use Santa Claus. You can't name your kid Santa Claus. Which right? kind of surprised me. Yeah. Because it's like, Santa's okay, mom uh, did. Whatever. Uh, 
And this it gets a little rough. You cannot name a kid Adolf Hitler. That's what I was just okay. going to say. I knew that one was going to be on the various, list. For various yep. reasons. That would be a tough name to get saddled with. You can, and I don't know what the legalities of it were when Prince did that. The artist formerly known as Prince, when he used a symbol, you cannot use a symbol in the state of South Dakota. Okay. okay. It's just, it's not, no. That is not going to be, uh, going to be allowed. <clears throat> it turns out not only are those names, symbols, whatever, banned in the Rushmore state, but apparently that's pretty much pretty every common. state in the United States. Huh. So if you're hoping to name your baby exclamation point or question mark, you're probably out of, out of huh. luck. You have to spell it out. Yeah, but names, it's it's fun stuff. Yeah. Mm. yeah. D- do you Did you like your name growing up? Did you always like being Dan? I did. Well, I didn't know it was Dan until I was maybe nine or ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's when most people learn their There was some name. confusion. <laughs> well, my father wanted to name me Duke. Yeah. He wanted to name me Duke. He had different ideas for oh, he wanted to name my brother Buddha King. <laughs> Duke King, holy cow. But growing up as, as a little kid, I was referred to as Duke. That was my name. My parents Would called me that. Would your other brother have been named me that. Prince then? Or? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I have no idea. But my mom went out and my father's name was actually Dan. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we had moved uh, from the inner city. And when my mom was dragging around, meeting the neighbors, whatever, she's introducing me as Danny. Yeah. The first time she did it, I looked behind me to see who she was. Is <laughs> <laughs> there somebody with us? It's like, no. Is he call- everybody called you Duke. <laughs> yeah. So we could have the bonus hour with Duke Ferris is what we could you have. You could, here. but we're never going to do that. Because <laughs> I'm a grown man now. All right. Thank you, yeah. Danny. I Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Hey, thanks for coming in, man. All right. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it, guys. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. And it's brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. At BetterCreditCards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can find those too at BetterCreditCards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, March 7th, 2022. Equities wobbled last week and well off the recent lows, but it looks like those lows will be tested again. The markets ended the week on a down note and at the low of the period after an escalation in the fighting over Ukrainian sovereignty. What this means for the markets is for geopolitical tensions and oil prices to remain high. With Russian capacity off the market and OPEC sticking to its plans, there's no top in sight for oil prices. This week, the market will be focused on the fallout from the fighting in Ukraine. While Russia is not a major economic power, it is the 10th largest nation by GDP, and their exclusion from global financial systems will have far-reaching effects. In market news, traders and investors will be on high alert with the CPI due out this Friday. It's our expectation that consumer-level inflation accelerated for the 11th month and will put added pressure on the FOMC. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.